So this is what I have for a little field trip. Howdy YouTube, so today we're going out the oil pan on this 2019 Honda Civic. And I feel like I kind of caught a unicorn because I don't get to see this very often. It's a brand new car. It's only got like 800 miles on it. And the customer hit a, like a parking, yellow parking thing and cracked his oil pan. So we get to take the oil pan off and possibly do an engine because the engine feels tight, but it could be tight just because it's brand new. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull the pan off, we're gonna pull the cap bearing off, and we're gonna see what the rod bearings look like. Um, if you haven't pushed one of these before, it's mostly aluminum and it pushes like a Cadillac. It's very easy pushing. But, uh, so just stay tuned. And by the way, if you like my videos, like what I'm doing for you, just give me a like, give me a subscribe. Got a lot of stuff coming out and uh, just thanks for watching and be sure you hit the guy at the end of the video who's holding up the transmission like, like an idiot, you know, just go ahead and click that guy. So thanks, and here we go. Okay, so then I got my unicorn on the lift here. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take these bolts out for the AC. These are 13, so unscrew those. And I'm gonna do my whole pan bolts. Those are all 10s. I got some that are here. I gotta take those off. Then we got these big, like, um, bell housing bolts we gotta take off. And we're gonna have to take off our tin shield and go off the exhaust. But first thing is, I'm gonna go ahead and get the exhaust. I'm not gonna soak it or anything like that just because it's brand new. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop these bolts loose. Yeah. Oh, here we go, that's pretty easy. So, these bolts are pretty loose. I mean, not loose, but they're really kind of. And uh, I think it's just because it's a newer car. So if you have never taken a new car apart, go down, buy yourself a new car, and just tear it apart. It's it's pretty easy. <laughs> so next step is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna break these loose. Got that. Get this one. And after I get these bolts down, I'm going to take my oil filter off. And then we're going to start going after pan bolts, because those are, look like they're 10s. So, next step is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take these 17s loose. There's that one there. And this one here. And you can see how easy it is to loosen these up. I, I don't know if I just didn't get that tight at the factory, or this is just how they do stuff in with brand new cars. So that's loose, and I'll get the other ones out. So what you gotta do is you gotta get this shroud loose so you can get your bolt for this, because this has gotta come off. So I'm taking these things out. Take a pick. I'm just gonna work it in there, and it pops out. So, as you can see, I got the whole thing off, and there's these go up by the tires. I take those off on both sides and get this whole pan out of the way because now you got all this access and you can see and get this 19 out and I actually have to get bolts out of the front here so I might still have to drop my belt and then go after the top bolt but we'll see we'll just try to pull this out without doing the AC compressor so I'm gonna try take this bolt out here and then take these bolts out so I got both bolts out. I got 19 here, or uh, 19 here. You gotta take out. And this bracket's gonna come in, and I supported it with wood, with a jack, a piece of wood, because you're. I'm taking away um, support for the end, for the transmission, so I had to put something there. And now, after I get that, I'm gonna get these bolts here in the middle. Okay. So now that I got that out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and try to go after the rest of my bolts for my pan. 
just gotta go around. And I got some that are hidden, like right there. You just gotta push the exhaust out of the way and I can get it. And I think I'm gonna have to take this one off too there. I'm not quite sure why there's a washer behind it, but I will find out. So I've taken all my bolts out and then I took my shield off here. And the weird bolt that we had here in the middle, that's it. It's super long, so it goes through, all the way through into the pan or something like that. And it feels like there's, it's kind of a weird fit because there's some RTV. And you can actually look in there and see that I'm not quite getting it into place. So that might be an issue once we get it done. But So I'm going to go ahead and I get my last big bolt right there that I did not see. So I had to... Loosen my belt, there's a 17 up there. I don't know if you can see it right there, the one sticking out, the silver thing. That's where you get your belt on, or your wrench on there and loosen your belt. And I had to loosen both my belts for the top on this AC compressor. And I'm just having a heck of a time getting this to pry down. So I'm gonna try to pry this down and get it at the top. So I've kind of fast forward quite a bit guys, but here's the gist is that I got my pan back up in there and I had to loosen this quite a bit in order to pry it out of the way in order to get it up in there. And I have a wedge and that wedge actually was keeping my compressor back. So I got to pry this back and get this out of the way. But you can see all this. This is the Honda Bond. It's the stuff that comes with the pan gasket and you put it in there and you squeeze it around. Um, main thing that you want to take away from this is that in here in the front you have long bolts. They're probably about an inch and a half. And these are probably about under an inch. And this long bolt here is like six or eight inches. And it goes right there. And then you have, after you get your pan tight, then you go ahead and get your uh, bell housing bolts in. That's what I did. Um, over here, I have my old pan. And this is how you want, kind of want to do the RTV, just do a circle and a line. And that should take care of it. But in here, we got kind of some metal flakes and stuff like that. I'm kind of hoping that's not from a bearing. But we're going to fire it up here in a little bit and we're going to see if we did any extensive damage or not. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm, I put my filter on. Everything's tight. Put some RTV on my gaskets here. Um, so now. We're gonna start it and see if we got good, bad, or ugly. Howdy, fixers. So, that's how you do the pan on a 2019 Civic, the unicorn of all cars. It's brand new, it's got like 800 miles on it, and that's how you do it. Um, I skipped through a little bit because my phone was dying, and just, you know, you, you gotta keep working when you work at the shop and stuff. So, sorry about that, but it's pretty simple. Pan came right off once you got all the bolts out. Um, there are some bolts that are kind of hidden, but you just wanna put some Honda Bond on there make a nice even bead and then it's going to stick up in there and be good but uh if you like the video give me a like give me a share um tell a friend about it and the just the reason i'm doing all this stuff give you guys some information be entertaining for you guys um if there's any questions or anything like that just let me know um if you like this video i, I got a little bit different of a video coming out um i'm not going to say what it is because it's just a little bit different um you just you can subscribe just keep watching but uh so thanks for watching guys and uh have a good one